friends. I have a book today called Sometimes I'm Bombaloo by Rachel Vale and the pictures are by Yumi Heal. This is about some big feelings. My name is Katie Honors and I'm a really good kid. I smile a lot because actually, usually I'm happy and I give excellent hugs. I brush my teeth without being reminded too much. I can Velcro my own shoes and put my toys where they belong, including the ones with 60, 48 small pieces. I remember about using my napkin and the magic word. I don't whine or stamp my feet or growl. Even if my brother knocks down my beautiful castle I just built and I told him not to touch it and I'll never be able to get it to look that good again. Sometimes I can hold in the tears and the pushes and just say, that's okay. But sometimes I'm Bombaloo. I show my teeth and make fierce noises. My face scrunches tight like a monster's. I use my feet and my fists instead of my words. My toys end up all over the floor and so does my brother. There is a lot of yelling when I'm Bombaloo and some pointing at my bed. I have to go take some time for myself and think about it. But when I'm Bombaloo, I don't want to think about it. I want to smash stuff. I can come out when I'm ready to control myself and say I'm sorry to my brother. But while I'm Bombaloo, I'm not sorry. I'm angry. I hate everybody and everything, even my dog Vanilla and my penny collection and my blankie and my mother and all of the clothes in my drawers. On their way out of the drawer, a pair of underpants lands on my head, like a hat. When I laugh, I'm Katie's honors again. And I'm sorry, and I'm a little frightened. It's scary being Bombaloo. My mother knows that. She hugs me and helps me clean up the mess Bombaloo made. And then after some sorries and kisses for my brother, we build a new castle together. The